Hello, fellow leaders. My filming setup is not great for having glasses, but I am having a bad headache day, so I need them to see. Thanks for bearing with me with all the little reflections. I've been getting a lot of nice comments when I post on Closet of Frills or Instagram or YouTube about my lovely selection of blouses, and I very much appreciate it. I am very proud of my collection. I think blouses are a completely underutilized part of Lolita fashion. Everybody thinks about getting the dress, and a lot of people think about things like petticoats, accessories, footwear, but blouses? A lot of people just skate by with a couple staples. Long sleeve, short sleeve, black, white, maybe pink or red. I like to use the blouse as more space to add intrigue to a coordinate. I like a loud, interesting blouse, and most of my collection is actually not from Lolita Brands. My shoulders are 43 centimeters wide. I am too swole. Since I am a swole Lita, and I am, as my partner would say, thick with two Cs, I have trouble fitting into blouses of all sorts, not just brand blouses. So when I find a blouse that I love, I buy it in every color. What I love about this blouse in particular is that it's got this very flexible cap sleeve, so regardless of how much uh, muscle I've put on and depending on how much I'm trying to bulk up or cut down, um, whether or not I've worked out on a given day, my biceps range from normal-ish to not going to fit in anything with elastic. So I find this to be a really good compromise. However, this blouse in particular might be a little out there for some people. I don't want to throw you in the deep end and expect you to be able to coordinate a blouse like this with an everyday Lolita wardrobe, especially not for a beginner. But because plus size blouses are so hard to find, I wanted to show you a couple of options that I particularly like from my own wardrobe and coordinate this incredible Dolby JSK that I've had in my closet for a couple of months now. Dolby's dresses are a little more expensive than the average indie brand dress because they are 100% handmade by the creator. Also, the fabric is custom printed and drawn by the creator. They're a one person show and you can tell that it's a labor of love with them. They're also incredibly plus size inclusive. If you're thinking to yourself whenever you see somebody reviewing a Lolita item, yeah, that's not really plus size friendly for me, guess what? Dolby will definitely have you covered. I'm an ML on their size chart, and I'm a 2XL in American sizes. Just think of all the range of sizes. I believe they go up to about a 5X, 4X, 5X. The typical advice for creating a coordinate for the first time is to pick your main piece and then pick the accessories that go with it. Because of the lace on this piece being a true white, you can see it here at the bottom, the safest and easiest way to coordinate this would be with a white blouse, a non-peaking petticoat, and maybe some white socks. The next piece of advice would be to find a pink blouse, since pink is a very commonly found secondary color blouse. This little off-brand blouse you probably see everywhere, uh, Lolita Dream, Lolita Princess, it's got a Chinese name that I can't pronounce as well. I got this one off of Amazon. I would recommend not getting stuff on Amazon unless you absolutely need that two-day shipping and free returns flexibility. But this is a blouse that I haven't actually worn yet that just happens to be the perfect shade of pink to go with this dress. It also has the white lace edging, which is going to be a really great way to complement the lower hem of the skirt. The fact that they're both a pure white lace is going to make this a lot easier. However, if we wanted to take this a step further, I do have here the very same blouse I'm wearing, but with pink polka dots. The brand is Magnolia Park, and I've been getting these on Unique Vintage. Unique Vintage is a shop that specializes in recreations of vintage styles. And that really runs the gamut from like 1920s all the way through the 70s and 80s. They have some swing dresses that could almost be JSKs with a couple modifications, and they have a great selection of blouses in both regular and plus sizes. Now, depending on the manufacturer that they're stocking, plus size might not be available, but they have a plus size section on their website that I like to use to browse and a plus size filter for their sales section. 
which is where I got this in so many colors. This is a size 4L, so if your bust is similar to mine at about 117 centimeters and your waist is about 99 centimeters or less, 4XL is where you want to be. If you're going to get this blouse, go by whatever your largest measurement is. I thought I'd be safe with a 3X for a while there, but I did start to kind of hulk out of it once my bust measurement got a little more robust from lifting. What I like about the idea of coordinating this particular blouse with this dress is that while the pink isn't... <laughs> I'll just put that back up here. Doodly doodly doot doot doot. Right, so while the pink on this does not quite match the main pink, each of these flowers is outlined with a slightly darker, slightly orange or pink, which this, I hope, will pick up very well. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Ah! Another thing I like about a subtle print with a JSK like this is that since there is a very subtle pattern in the background of the print, having another subtle pattern will kind of give you a power clash. At least power clashing is what they call it in menswear, so I'm gonna call it power clashing here too. One thing I especially love about this blouse in Lolita is that when you tie the bow, it adds an extra element of fun to the front of the cord. This JSK already has this very beautiful blown up part of the print here, so it wouldn't be such a big deal. But depending on where these straps fall on my body, I'm either gonna really want this bow or I can just tuck it in and nobody's gonna notice. We'll see how it goes. The final look we're going to try out is incorporating another blouse that I have gotten so many compliments on. This blouse here, is by a Taobao brand called Centaro. What I love so much about this blouse and the reason I've bought it in every color is that the sleeves are so unique. I believe they call it flutter sleeve or drape sleeve. It gives me a lot of volume, but it also doesn't have any sort of armhole to be concerned with. If your arms fluctuate in width like mine do, this is a really good option for you because it is super stretchy and it will fit you at pretty much any size to a point. The upper limit of this blouse is around 134 centimeters. According to the website, I would recommend it for up to 130 centimeter bust and under bust, but that's my personal preference because I like to be comfortable. My first experience with this blouse was buying it in red, and I coordinated it with my Metamorphose Dreaming Goldfish in the navy colorway, and I also coordinated it with Enchanted Fawn by Hai Nui in the black colorway. In both cases, the red just picked up the classic red from both of those brands prints super duper well. Centaro makes this same fabric in different colors into all of their different undergarments, blouses, underskirts, petticoats. Because this blouse comes in so many colors, I have bought it in a ton of colors. If there's ever a blouse color that you are looking for for a specific coordinate, I recommend giving Centaro a peep. Maybe they've got it, maybe they don't, but chances are pretty good they've got it. Anyway, I've never worn it in green. I really, really enjoy wearing green. I actually have been meaning to incorporate more green into my wardrobe because I do have green eyes. Well, all right, we have our plan. Let's get started. Alrighty, here we have the first of our completed coordinates with the first blouse, the Croc Chiffon blouse from Amazon. As you can see, it definitely matches the pink throughout the print. I've gotten it coordinated with my dawn and morning dew wrist cuffs. Off-brand earrings I bought in high school to cosplay Sailor Jupiter. My metamorphose necklace. This rectangle headdress from Paradise Rose Shop on Etsy. My Me Likes Tea Hybrid Poof Monster Petticoat in Organza. And these socks that I got from the Lolita Collective. I've rounded it all out with some clear frame glasses. The idea with wearing clear frames is to kind of let them blend into your face. These are the most basic glasses I could possibly pair with anything. I would say that this blouse is definitely not the star of the show as part of this coordinate. This is a much better coordinate for featuring the dress than something with a more over-the-top blouse because it keeps the focus on the dress. 
overall, I would say I'm very happy with the way that I look and feel in this, but I will say that I can already start to feel this elastic at the edge of this blouse pulling on me, poking into my skin and restricting my movement. I'm not sure if I get much bigger if this blouse will continue to fit me, but in the meantime, it's a very light, summery blouse. I'm definitely not mad at it, and I would definitely think of wearing this to a meetup. The whole ensemble is very comfortable, and I feel hella kawaii, and you can quote me on that. All right, and here's coordinate number two. This is definitely the most statement blouse of the bunch. Not much has changed except for the blouse. The earrings have changed, the headgear has changed, the glasses have changed. I've removed a necklace, but everything else is the same. This blouse has become the feature. The big bow is super Parisian, so I paired it with my Lady Swath Tea Time at Grandma's Beret, which just happens to be a very complimentary color to the pinks on the dress. I've still got the same Tabar wrist cuffs, the same socks, the same generic shoes. So really, this blouse makes the cord. I do think also that my glasses do enhance things quite a bit. As you can probably see, but not very well, they have little gemstones which kind of play off of the polka dots in the blouse fabric. I also like my little milk bottle earrings with the pink bows. When you consider that the beret has a little bit of pink that matches the blouse, the wrist cuffs have a little bit of pink that matches the blouse, and that the actual outlines of the flowers in the print of the dress also match the blouse. It just kind of comes together and works, in my opinion. And as I pointed out earlier, while this isn't a traditional puff sleeve, it sure gives the effect of a puff sleeve and it's worn with a JSK. <laughs> I love this blouse. I love this look. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> as you can see, the third blouse really changes things. Switching to green gives this entire dress new life. It's not necessarily expected and it doesn't match perfectly, but the green is enough to draw your eye to other places in the print that are green. And I personally really like the way it turned out. The hat is another very big difference. It's an off-brand pink witch hat with a clip-on strawberry stem by Beholder Fashions on Etsy, just kind of glommed on there on the side to bring more of the green color up. And I've also swapped out my accessories for some green frames, crystal earrings to try to tie in that witchy theme a little bit better, some green pearls, everything else on me is stuff I've been wearing as part of one of the other two coordinates. This one's definitely the most over the top. This is the least day-to-day -day wearable cord of the three. That's largely due to the hat being so specific. I feel like I'm going for a kind of Lotus Witch of the Swamp pastel forest core look. And I think I'm rocking it. This is a look I've never seen in Lolita fashion before, so maybe I'm a pioneer, or maybe it's Ida as hell, or a little too costumey. I don't know. Sound off in the comments. <laughs> whereas the other two coordinates were a little more sweet leaning. This one's a bit more classic because of the elegance that the blouse brings to the table. I feel like I could wear this to some sort of garden party, engagement party, tea party. I probably would be comfortable in it all day, except that the hat might blow away. Gosh, was this like that the whole time? How embarrassing. Anyway, I guess I'll call that a night. Uh, once again, definitely check out Dolby the maker of this beautiful JSK. This is my first piece by Dolby, and let me just say I am sold. I'm not good enough at sewing myself to really be able to criticize the craftsmanship so much. I can tell that all of the edges are very well finished, uh, things are surged. It's not lined, but the fabric is so heavy that if there was lining, it would kind of get bulkier. I like how it looks with a belt and without a belt, and I'd like to try out some other types of belts and sashes to add a little more interest around the midsection of this dress. Maybe a bow? My only complaint is that I keep wishing there were pockets in this. I don't know how much extra effort it would be for a one-person brand to add pockets as an option to their dresses, but I would pay extra for pockets, and this dress is begging for some pockets because the skirt is so incredibly full. I just keep looking for them with my hands and 
expecting them to be there and they're not. I think all skirts should have pockets though, so. Dolby, if you're watching, maybe add some pockets to the next round. Dolby is a super plus size inclusive brand. In fact, I would say that it's a plus size focused brand as all of the artwork features plus size Lolitas as well. It's so great to see yourself represented in the artwork and by a brand. I, I can't thank Dolby enough for making this sort of thing available to us. And if you want to get any of these blouses, I'm going to include links down below. Uh, keep in mind that the link for this particular blouse in all of its colors is an affiliate link because Brie now sent me one. You want this blouse now? Be honest, be honest. You want this blouse now? You want it in every color, just like me. All right, I guess I gotta do a youtube -y thing. Like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, ring a bell. Uh, did I do those in the right order? Is there a right order? I don't know. Anyway, do the engagements. You know what you're supposed to do. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have an opinion on any of my coordinates, I'd love to hear some constructive criticism, but please be nice. Which one of these chords was your favorite? I think the second chord was probably my personal favorite because I'm a big fan of the Power Clash. But what's your taste? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, I'm gonna go order this blouse in pink now. Bye! <laughs>